Hey Cancers, welcome back to the channel, Fire Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your November monthly reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Cancers, welcome. If you're returning to my channel, welcome. My name is Leash, and this is going to be your monthly reading. It is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Um, in advance, I am in public. I'm charging. So if you guys see anything in the background or hear any noise in the background, again, I'm in public. I'm charging the car, so I do apologize in advance. Uh, without that being said, let's jump into your messages. I hope everybody is well and doing well and feeling well. Um, cancers, if you are, I have a couple of you guys. Thank you so much for signing up for life coaching. Um, thank you so much for the donations. If you're a cancer, you donate to the channel. I certainly appreciate that. Uh, all the new subscribers, thank you guys so much for being here. And all my day one A1s, of course, shout out to you guys as well. Let's see. We have the 11 portal coming up this weekend. Um, I'm planning to do a reading. I don't know if I'm going to put it out on the 10th, okay, for the 11th, or if I'm going to do it on the 11th. I do have a couple things happening on the 11th, so I may try to do it Friday, tomorrow night, all right, to be honest. I may try to do it tomorrow night. Um, either way, I've been, you know, I've been around. I just relocated states. Um, I'm on a podcast, which is called The Urban Angel. You can find the link in the community section on the, t on the channel i believe um yeah i'm pretty sure it's there you guys can also go ahead and follow my tiktok and my instagram as well too uh the names are exactly the same fiery falcon tarot um again the podcast is the urban angels on all platforms definitely go subscribe and support the podcast you guys anything else you need to know from me life coaching spiritual bath spiritual kits check the community section as well and you can look down below let's get it Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus. What do we have for Cancer Spirit? Please and thank you. All right. We have, I converse with awareness. Okay, so I feel like you guys are saying do people shit. Flat out, okay? So if someone's lying to you, you're looking at these motherfuckers like, yeah, bitch, okay. That wasn't even your bag. I saw it on Nene last week. You borrowed that shit, bitch. Two, two, two's on a timer. <laughs> all right so it may not be a bag that you got from nene okay it could be anything a pair of shoes it could be somebody lying about a car it could be somebody lying about how much they get paid it's like somebody lying about something here um i converse with awareness okay so somebody could be gossiping to you while you're on the job at work and they could be saying like giving you this whole elaborate story like bitch that sound like a lie you know, it's something like that here either. This is how you're feeling about somebody or this is what somebody feeling about your ass. Take it how it resonates. Let's pull y'all one, one more from this deck. By the way, this is called the Amenti Oracle deck. All right. <laughs> All right. And if you're not being aware about what's happening around you, this is spirit saying that you need to pay, wake up and pay attention. All right. Stop being a dummy out here is kind of what I'm getting and what I'm hearing here. Stop believing everything that everybody telling you. Stop just being a yes ma'am or a yes sir. Stop just going with what shit people tell you. Like, do research on shit, okay? Find out for yourself. Don't just take other people's word for it, okay? All right, it's something like that here, all right? Use the sermon, all right? Investigate shit. Ask questions about shit. Um, if something don't seem right, it, it very well may not be right. Just educate yourself and do your research. All right, let's see. What, what else for cancer? That message was funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm about to lose the cause. Clumsy. All right, with y'all emotional asses. All right, shit. Let me calm down. I don't want y'all go taking a drink on my ass. Shit, sit down. Put the bottle down. Shit. <laughs> oh cancers it says i hold purity in the highest esteem so this is giving me the empress card okay all right so you know this could be anything this could be people wanting to be intimate with you and you guys are now valuing your body like as a temple as we should be um and just not being very selective with who you give your energy to um, which I feel like is so, so, so important because everybody is, you know, you know, it's, it's some sketchy folks out here. You know what I'm saying? It says, I consume only my fair share. 
all right so this is you guys so someone could be convincing you guys like it's okay to take something from your job or it's okay to i don't know maybe maybe somebody didn't like leave the maybe somebody left the gratuity section open on the tab right and maybe oh confirmation um um, so it's like maybe somebody is trying to convince you of like forging in the line there on the gratuity or maybe someone's trying to convince you to, you know, maybe take money from some like it's like someone's trying to tell you to take something that you know that you rightfully sh you probably shouldn't do it. Right. So it's like, don't let people, don't let people convince you of doing shit that you're not supposed to do, right? Like, looking at these motherfuckers, like, you know, somebody could be like, you know, yeah, the boss said it was okay to take this shit right here. They don't want it. And it's like, yeah, no, don't touch that shit, all right? Leave it right the fuck there unless you go get confirmation from your employer and then even still make them put it in writing, right? Because you want to cover your ass because people are crafty. All right, so I only consume my fair share. So someone could be trying to get y'all caught up is what I'm getting here, all right? Somebody could be trying to get y'all to do something that's, you know, against policy or whatever like that. So just be mindful of that. All right, let's see. This is my Halloween Oracle deck. It's called the Halloween Oracle deck. I know we're not in Halloween anymore, but we gonna be pulling my cards from this guy. I like this deck and I haven't really used it that much. I didn't get to put out that many readings with this deck. So let's see. Message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Or maybe they're like trying to tell you like you could stay on the clock about something here while you're doing something at work or something like that. But something's not right there. Something's not true about that. So watch it. Uh, yeah, we got spider, community, and web weaving. Somebody trying to set y'all up, all right? Because it's like, when you think about a web, what does the web put up for? To catch shit, right? To catch, to catch some shit up, right? That's why these spiders create their webs, right? They weave these webs so that way it's their way of hunting, trapping prey. So I get it, energy like someone's trying to set y'all up. Someone's trying to convince you to either do something or or go somewhere or some shit like just don't do it all right just don't do it because there's something tricky here about this there's something tricky about this energy all right that's what i do know i don't know if y'all can hear that siren that's happening right now yeah y'all gotta hear that that shit loud yeah vampire emotional intelligence so you need to be very very emotional intelligent here about whatever this situation here that someone's getting ready to present present to you all right i don't know what the situation is what it could be about but mm, just watch it all right so let's see let's get y'all one more oracle card this is the everyday witches oracle and then we're going to dive into some tarot for y'all, okay? Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. All right, let's see. Let's see. Message here for Cancer, Someone Rising, and our Venus. Damn, I don't think I got Gemini one of these cards now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't. At least I don't think I did. All right, let's see. Messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for November. How y'all doing? How y'all doing, Cancer? What's happening? I miss y'all so much. Um, I'm about to turn the fuck up on my channel, like, seriously. <laughs> y'all think I'm bullshitting. I'm serious. And then when I start posting like crazy, like, y'all just be here for it, all right? Y'all just be here for it. All right, messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for November. Can we get something from here for Cancers from the Everyday Witch Oracle, please and thank you? Divine White Light, Archangel, Michael, what we got here for Cancer, baby? Come on, talk to him. Talk to him, talk to him. He said they ain't hearing me, though. Okay, y'all not listening to Michael, so I feel like, yep. These cars came right on out as soon as I said that. So I feel like y'all have been ignoring y'all intuition about something here. And I feel like spirits are really bothered by that. It says... What? Imagine and immersion? Oh no, it says envision. I 
can't see this writing is so small it's kind of dark in here all right so the imagine so um she's sitting on the broom right and look at the cat behind her on the broom and she has like papers in her hand so i feel like she's thinking of a master plan so you guys could be thinking of a master plan as well too y'all could be trying to create um like some kind of you're trying to create something here i'm seeing like somebody writing a paper here so some of y'all could be having to write a paper here or like trying to put something together here um but i just get like thinking of a master plan i feel like you guys are trying to formulate something create a blueprint for something here and i feel like you guys want it to be like the best it could possibly be so i feel like you're doing some research about that here um let's see we have strength and reliance uh so yeah you need to be strong here again so this could be someone presenting this plan to y'all too right that proposal the blueprint whatever it is i feel like someone's going to be coming either someone's coming to you in this shady ass energy or you going towards somebody else in this shady scheming ass energy i, I do get a scheming ass shady ass type of energy here so be be mindful of that all right and and strength and uh Relent, relent, relentless is this like you know being having what am i trying to say here like just having a backbone right just don't go with what people say that it is like just uh, that's what i'm getting here like be strong resist hold back do your research make sure things is what it is before you just be like okay i do get that we have joy and delight Okay, so you're going to be really joyful and really delightful that you guys either did your due diligence or you're, you're not going to be. So, but I feel like you guys, yeah, confirmation with the horn blowing. So, I feel like someone else is going to be happy that you didn't do your due diligence because, again, remember that web energy here, you're going to end up getting caught up. You keep hearing that horn going off, right? So, to avoid being caught up in the web do your fucking due diligence two two twos on the timer all right investigate do your research don't just go with whatever this is all right that's what i'm getting that's what i'm getting cancer because someone is thinking of a master plan a way to set your ass up a way to get you tripped up knock you off your throne whatever this is get you fired it's some shit like that here going around all right, but let's see. Messages here for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus for November. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm sure I'll be back on before then, but I just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Let me know what y'all cook. Oh, we got the Ace of Cups. I'm, I'm seeing somebody being emotionally fulfilled about something here or this is what someone's wanting someone's wanting to be emotionally fulfilled here okay someone could be you could be emotional too about maybe a connection as well too let's see what's at the bottom of the deck yeah knight of coins so some of y'all are wanting a connection here and I feel like something's taking a while to happen for you guys. Maybe you're seeing someone and things are taking a while to maybe move to the next level here. And maybe because this motherfucker that you're messing with is a con artist, okay? And spirit like trying to keep you at bay, like, bitch. This shit ain't what you think it is. All right, so I don't know. For some, some of y'all, it very well could be that. It <laughs> could be. Why well, is the Ace of Cups here for Cancer, Summer Rising, and Venus for November? But it could be new love for you guys, okay? Let's just see. Let's see. Mm, nine of Swords. I feel like this is y'all wanting a relationship. Yeah, the moon... You could have some worries or some doubts here for those of you guys that may be in a relationship here, Cancer, because this is Cancer and energy here, the moon. Um, yeah, the nine of cups. Y'all are fearing that maybe you will not be deeply in love with in a, in a, in a healthy relationship here. Yeah, we got the queen of wands, the seven of wands, and the nine of swords. 
So maybe this is everything, like people that are interested in you, but I feel like you don't really see. Like maybe these are not your ideal people that you will be interested in. And maybe these are not people that you want to be interested in. Maybe these are people that are not, you know, maybe they're just not your top, uh, cup of tea. It's kind of what I'm getting here. But I feel like there will be somebody that's going to come in because the Queen of Wands, King of Wands is like, you know, really attractive. Um, could be physically fit. Um, if they're not physically fit, I feel like they might have like a little pudge. You know, they could be like, you know, slightly overweight. Nothing crazy. Um, but I do get that. I do see that. But I feel like they're going to have nice facial features, okay? They're going to be soft on the eyes here. We do have the Seven of Wands. And maybe you're guarded towards love, too, too because I feel like maybe past things you went through. Or maybe y'all thinking that something is too good to be true because this person looked kind of good. And you like, shit, I be having these ugly people come up to me and I got this kind of cute person kind of checking me out. Something wrong with them. I feel like that's what y'all thinking here could be could be uh oh my phone about to die i gotta plug that in uh yeah we have the chariot more cancer energy here um maybe oh maybe you're intimidated to approach this person because maybe how they look yeah four coins here the death and the page of wands yeah i feel like you guys are going to let go of i feel like you're going to do something different i feel like maybe you don't ever usually approach people and i feel like you're going to approach this person you're going to tell this person that you're interested in them but i feel like you're nervous as shit <laughs> look i spent the deck the ace of swords all right so either this is someone that's going to be approaching you or someone is approaching you what did i say Either you're going towards someone or someone's coming towards you. Damn it, shit. Whatever. This could also be the energy of someone like... I'm not really feeling this strongly so for a small few of you guys. But what I'm getting here is that for some of you guys, this person is only coming back is what I'm going to say. Because someone that you already dealt with. Because they don't want you to be with anybody else. Yeah, <laughs> the devil. Capricorn energy here. The seven of cups here. I'm telling you, man. They like shit. No, nah, I gotta get cancer back because if somebody else see cancer, I'ma snap. Yeah, look, the moon and the seven of cups. So this could be you guys like trying to get back with this past person here because you like, you know, I don't want nobody else to be with this person. Could be a Capricorn here for you guys. Could be a Aries, Leo, or a Sag. <laughs> could be another Cancer. Or this could just simply be your asses. Alright, don't get caught up. Don't get caught up. Or maybe are y'all secretly talking to a Queen of Wands here and you're in a relationship with a Capricorn? Okay, and you sneaking around here with the Moon card? And the hermit are you dating someone older than you i don't know i don't know i don't like that energy if that's what you're doing cancers that's not cool just keep it a buck keep it a bean let them know what it is you know what i'm saying damn i just dropped mad cards uh yeah we have the justice card coming out here Something is getting ready to become balanced. That's, yeah. Yeah, the hangman in the world card here. So if you guys been out here creeping around, sneaking around, whatever. Again, this could be a setup. So somebody could actually be trying to record y'all doing this, catch y'all in the act, and this is how you're going to get caught up. All right, this, this is it. Uh, three of Wands. I'm hearing that this is this person's friend. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, then... This is like a friend that maybe you don't know that well that is either going to either DM you or vice versa and you're going to go meet up with this person or make plans to go meet up with this person and this is how you're going to get caught up. All right, but there's something like that here. Three of Wands. 
<laughs> what did I say? Three of Wands, Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, man. Somebody is trying to record y'all. Six of Wands. Somebody's trying to catch you in the act of doing something. And this is going to be your demise. Trying to tell you. Yeah, what did I say? Death. <laughs> look. And look at that big ass eye on the flag. Somebody is watching you. They might be disguising themselves, or this could be you disguising yourself. Two, two, two on a timer. Listen, listen, Linda, listen. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't, y'all don't hear me though. Hold up, because uh, a whole bunch of cars fell on the floor, right? Let me see what fell. Let's see. I don't see nothing else. <sighs> This page of wands in the reverse, though. Mm -mm -mm. We got the five of cups. We got the high priestess. Tell him. And we got the fool. I'm hearing from I'm here from the movie Sh uh, Shatas, which I love that movie, by the way. Shout out to uh Damien Morley, Ziggy Morley's the whole Marley family. Um and it on that part when it was a it was like he was like what did it say it's a robbery remember when they set they they, they got basically had got set up right and the people just started shooting or whatever like that so but they thought it was all good you know what i'm saying but initially it was a setup so it's like i'm getting that it's a fucking setup it's a setup Page of Wands in the fucking reverse, the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Fool. Remember, the High Priestess don't tell nobody nothing. They don't say shit. This might even be like one of your friends. So if it's not like whoever you're cheating on, friend, or whatever, for those, because some of y'all, it is it is that kind of situation. It, it is someone, you're, you're sneaking around doing shit, right? And you, instead of being honest and saying, you know, that you're not happy or whatever the case may be, and, you know, leaving the situation properly, so for some of y'all, it is that. For us of y'all, this is someone that's trying to get you caught up either through work or like with a connection. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I got here for y'all, man. It's a setup. Okay, don't do it. Don't get caught up. Don't fall for the bait. Don't fall for it because, you know, this person might be, you know, like I said, ace of cups. So they might have a fat ass. They might have a pretty decent body. And again, we got the queen of wands, right? The queen of wands is typically could be the other person right another woman but i'm hearing it is kind of, i'm hearing like it's another woman or it's a friend it's a friend that you know it's, it's hard to it's hard to you know all right from my higher self it is the right thing for the friend to do right um especially if you know they've been trying to encourage you like you know hey you know you really shouldn't be cheating you really shouldn't be doing this you really shouldn't be stealing and it's like they're only seeing stuff because they honestly love you and they know that that's not the right thing to do they, they understand right from wrong right um so but from that's the yin side of me right that's the that's the elevated side the high vibrational side right over here the right side now the yang side is like Fuck that friend. That motherfucker supposed to be ride or die for you. They supposed to lie for you. They supposed to go him for you. They supposed to cover up the cause. All that shit for you. Right? And I know that's how y'all, some of y'all thinking, right? Who gives a shit, right? You probably don't even give a shit. I don't give a shit, really. Right? I just want you to do better. Be better, people. We gotta be better. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... <laughs> let me... Let me go ahead and pull from the Fire Falcon Tarot deck real quick. And let's see what comes out, man. Let's see what comes on out here. It's a setup, though, cancer. It's a motherfucking setup. All right. I'm just saying. Look how he set Rita ass up on um Vampire in Brooklyn, right? He tricked Rita ass, didn't he? He tricked her. Fucked her and turned her ass to a goddamn vampire. Had Rita ass all fucked up. Rita ain't know she is coming or going. Right? Somebody name could be Rita here. Okay? <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's a setup, right? You know what I'm saying? And look at his ass. He was the queen of wands. Uh, the king of wands, right? He Eddie Murphy was nice looking. You know what I'm saying? He, he was well groomed. Had the limo. 
You know what I'm saying? Even talked about how well he was packing down there. All that shit, right? Even had the apartment decked out, but that shit was a whole fucking facade, right? We got Libra, all right? We got Libra here, okay? Whole fucking facade, all right? What happened at the end of... And if y'all don't know the movie, go watch Vampire in Brooklyn, all right? Go watch it. So that way you guys can understand. And after you watch the movie, come back into the reading. Come back to the reading. Rewatch the reading. All right? But go watch Vampire in Brooklyn. All right? Some of y'all might be from New York. Yep, we got Cancer here. So, Cancer, are you trying to set up a Libra or a Libra trying to set you up? All right? Uh, well, I'm just saying what I'm getting here. Oh, it could be a Taurus. Yep. Could be a let me show y'all here could be a taurus right and then it says don't sleep with okay so don't sleep with this libra don't sleep with this taurus i'm telling you it's a fucking setup trust me when i tell y'all guys peace you better to, to keep peace and avoid this shit from going down just don't do it Look, do you want me someone's gonna be very very promiscuous someone's gonna really Throw it on, throw it on heavy, right? Yeah, look, the dark side. I can't make it up. So this is this is the bitch coming up to y'all in the plum dress and the bright red dress, red high heels, red lipstick, um, no panties on, that type time, that type shit. This is like I said, vampire in Brooklyn. You know, he pulling up in the Lamborghini, he pulling up in the limo, he real slick, dressed nice, smelling good, looking good, all that talking right, all that shit. Females, it applies to y'all too. It applies to y'all too. You know, and the fucked up part is like, this is your person. Like, so maybe this person is like skeptical and think that you are cheating, right? And so this person is going to send somebody. Mm hmm. It's like, it's like, give me that who sent you, nigga? Who sent you energy? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, and it's like, that's fucked up because some of y'all. You know, and like, I I didn't say it on this video, but, like, I've been getting feedback that a lot of my videos I've been doing and putting out here, like, things that I've read for two, three months ago is just starting to happen in people's lives. So, this could happen around Christmas time, right? Um, You know, family, friends, things like that, traveling and visiting and shit like that. So, it could play out for y'all Thanksgiving. It could play out for y'all for Christmas. It could play out for y'all New Year's. So, take it how it resonates. But there is some type of tricky energy here. Spoil me. Tell me, yo, watch Vampire in Brooklyn, man. Yo, true story flipped over. So, you know what I'm saying? That's all I could get. Look, I made a mistake at the bottom of the deck. We done. We gonna leave it right there. We done. We're going to wrap it up right there, Cancers. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what the fuck is going on here. Who is this scandalous bitch or this scandalous ass dude? You know? Wankster. We call him a wankster. Do people even say that anymore? I actually like that song when 50 Cent came out with that shit. You say you a gangster, but you know. You say you a gangster. Mm, it's a setup, y'all. Uh, I'm telling you, strong right here, right now. It's a motherfucking setup. Don't say I ain't tell you so. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to fucking save you. Listen to Leash. I'm trying to help you. Don't do it. Don't fuck that friend. Don't fuck that cousin. Don't fuck that girl. Oh, don't fuck that man. Don't fuck that cousin. Don't fuck that boy. Don't 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 do it. I'm telling you. That boss, whoever, that coworker, don't do it. I'm telling you, it's, it's some connections here, all right? Somebody sent somebody. But don't tell you, I ain't tell you so. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and ring the bell. That way you guys get notified when I post and go live. I'll catch you guys on the next one.